Four swords are necessary for any Grey Knight's army. Um, you're gonna have halberds, you're gonna have falchions, and then you're just gonna have the basic four swords. Uh, and you want them to glow blue. Most people want them to glow blue. I mean, let's face it, they are the like primary sort of visual thing that Grey Knights have. It is their chief way of meeting out justice and destruction in the universe, and the eye is pulled to this glowing blade that they have. Um, so you wanna make them look good. Uh, I've seen a lot of people do some really, really beautiful things with airbrushes and blending techniques, which I'm not very good at. I've also seen some people, myself with my early models, really, really underplay the Force Swords. And that just looks sad. Um, it just looks like a blade. I mean, if it's just gonna be a blade, paint it steel and then just throw some Nolan oil on it and be done with it. Um, anyway, I'm gonna show you uh, a quick, pretty simple and still evocative way that I discovered of painting Force Swords in this video. It's a simple process, not a lot going on. Uh, I got myself a Terminator that I have recently primed black. Um, normally, I would do the armor first, and then I would go in with the Force Sword. Now, the reason for doing the armor first is because the way I do armor involves a lot of dry brushing, and I, hate, I would hate to accidentally nick the Force Sword after I've finished it while I'm trying to put on the silver armor. So I always make sure I do the big stuff, the dry brushing stuff, uh, first. So the first thing I did was a few coats of Baharoth Blue, just enough to get a nice, even, consistent coat across the whole thing. Next, you're going to want to make a glaze of uh, Contrast Medium and Talisar Blue, and it's going to be about four-fifths uh, Contrast Medium and one-fifth Talisar Blue. Now, ideally to mix these, you use a wet palette or uh, even like a tile or something, um, but if you're both poor and a drunk, uh, I like to use bottle caps. Um, I collect a bunch of them whenever I finish a beer. As I mentioned, it is four parts uh, contrast medium and one part talisar blue. Mix them together and then start slapping it onto the blade. The trick here is you want to have the paint be thicker and darker on one end of the blade and lighter on the other end. And I'm sure you've seen four swords, pictures of them where they're kind of divided down the middle. Uh, what I'm going to do is plop the like heavy part of the paint into the recess on one side of it, and then slowly drag it up the blade so that it's thinner on the tip of it. And then I'm gonna do the opposite direction down the other way. So I start with the heavy part of the paint, the initial blop onto the tip of the blade, and then down back to the handle. Okay, so this is dried, and you can see there's a little bit of a gradient on there, which is exactly what we're going for. Just something subtle, not something too crazy. Just enough of a distinction to make it look like it's something happening there. Um, it's not super clean, uh, as you can tell, but it is very quick, which is nice. And once we, uh, once we finish it up, you'll see it kind of works out really well. Next, I make a 50-50 mix of Ulthuan Grey and Lothurn Blue, which I love Lothurn Blue. It's probably one of my favorite Citadel colors. I use it for eyes, I use it for the basing, and I use it for, obviously, for weapons and things like that. Um, but we're going to take the 50-50 uh, mix of Ulthuan Grey and Lothurn Blue and very thin, just run it along the sides of the blade there, all the way up and down, sort of to give it a, a almost a sharp look, like a cutting edge. And then we're going to take the same color and just go straight down the middle, very, very carefully. Last, we're going to take that same mix of Ulthuan Grey and Lothurn Blue, and you're going to get just a little bit on the tip of the brush and start making little uh, hash marks along the blade. Little, think of it almost like, like scuff on like a leather holster or something. But they're the same color as the highlight, and we're doing them all completely parallel with each other, running up and down the length of the blade. All right, and with that, you have a quick and easy contrast force sword. Uh, again, this isn't the best paint job in the world, um, but if you're not really someone who has access to an airbrush or very confident in your like wet blending techniques, then this doesn't look too bad. And it only requires a couple of paints, and it took me about 10, 15 minutes. Now, I do have a more in-depth uh, force sword technique that I utilize uh, with my troops. Um, it takes a lot longer, uh, but it looks really good. Um, I do know that a lot of people who watch my videos though are pretty new to Grey Knights and maybe the hobby scene in general. And so I see a lot of videos online about people doing really masterful techniques with airbrushes and all that stuff. But I thought it'd be nice to show what I do when I just want someone to have a quick energy-based weapon as opposed to spending hours to paint five Terminators for swords. Um, but 
if you guys want to see how I do my like really nice four swords, uh, I'd be happy to make a video about that as well. Just let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching as always.